Hello Aquarius, I'm here to do your first two weeks of March bi-weeklies. Let's see what's going on for the Aquas. The song I got on shuffle for you was Dua Lipa, Hi. Um, it's from the 50 Shades Breed or whatever soundtrack. It's like, can we get a little high? Ooh, ooh. Um, so... I'm going to go ahead and say that I feel like there's somebody coming in the picture for you who's going to be very sexual. So just keep that in mind. You could be getting some like sexy time coming in. Um, <clears throat> somebody who's going to feel like a little bit of a drug to you. Or that's how somebody's feeling about you. Okay, let's see. Grieve your losses, refine your attention, be true to yourself, make no judgment. So there could be somebody coming in here who is going to be very different than what you expect. And you might think this is like a little like, like your initial judgment on this person might be that they're like, you know, promiscuous. I don't know, but they're going to be, let's just say they're going to be good at whatever the hell that they do. Just gotta say it, okay? That's the vibe I'm feeling. All right, let's see. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Swords. Ooh, this could be another air sign. Somebody like rushing in. I don't know, you guys. I should just not do this reading right now because there is some kind of energy here that I just, I don't know if I feel comfortable with. All right, um, you and another person overall energy first two weeks of march the three of cups you could meet this person partying this could be somebody that you like party with you're going to be having a good time you're going to be drinking some drinks um make sure you don't get like too distracted you know because i feel like this person's going to be very um it, 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 i want to say like hedonistic like this person's like that fast moving energy like always having to be on the go and if you let yourself get swept up in it you could be like you know you could be like getting carried away just saying just a little warning um okay give me a clarifier for this three of cups three of cups this person i'm just already telling you this person's like gonna offer to like want to experiment some things like want to do some like fr fr freaky stuff i'm just saying like i said i should just not even do this reading right now <coughs> of swords oh oh there's like th like i have this feeling of like i want to throw up right now um so there could be something going on here because that three that three this person could be into like threesomes or something there's something maybe that you find out that like <coughs> it's like clogging your throat it's like make sure you're speaking up make sure you're kind of you know being true to yourself in the sense of don't do something you're not comfortable with because that like throw up thing like maybe that's kind of significant so keep that in mind if this person's saying like let's do this let's do that and you're not comfortable with it don't do it um god dang it another three three is very significant here okay three of wands so that three of wands card is like something you've been waiting for it's it's on its way nine of cups wish fulfillment queen of cups so you could be connecting with a water sign but this is this feeling of something that you have been waiting for it is coming wish fulfillment here this could be somebody communicating their emotions somebody offering you their emotions oh the devil card maybe you've been waiting for some like some like you know passion in your life i don't know some lusty lusty person in your life Let's see, Queen of Cups. Um, mm, 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 something you've been waiting for. Something you've been waiting for here. Queen of Cups, Five of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. So it's like moving past some kind of conflict. I think you will be moving past some kind of conflict. 
There is, there's the significance with all these threes and this devil card. Um, and there's a significance with that, like me, like coughing till I wanted to throw up type of thing, because it's like, maybe there's something that needs to be communicated here, or maybe you like find something out that does not make your tummy feel well, but it's like, make no judgments. This person could be into like some weird shit. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay. And there could be some stuff that like you feel a little conflicted with, but overall this person kind of has like a lot of qualities that you do like. And there is this feeling of like wish fulfillment, happiness that could also be overindulgence. So, you know, keep an eye out for that. Don't do anything in excess. You probably will be with this person because this person lives in excess. There's like, it could be that you find out this person is like, Something that they do that you're kind of, it, it, it maybe like grosses you out and you're just not speaking it, like speaking it out loud. It, and you're like a little conflicted with it or there's something here, something going on. We got the judgment card here. So that's you making this decision. Four of cups and the sun card, Leo energy. Something about this person's energy though does bring you a lot of, Playfulness, happiness, joy, um, this, this judgment card. What's this judgment card doing here? Four of wands. Okay, so it's like there's this, this could be a union coming into play. This could be some kind of karmic. There is some kind of karmic energy, some kind of toxic energy here that's like looming though. This could be lust. This could be you've been waiting to maybe sleep with this person. I don't know. I don't know, but there's something here you're conflicted about within this situation. Something you're conflicted about, something you are not really seeing here. You're not seeing. All right, let's see. Sun card, what's the sun card? What's the deal with the sun card? What is the deal with the sun card? The temperance, okay. So this could be kind of like fighting for some kind of balance here, fighting for some kind of energy. This could be somebody coming into you and you know, telling you their feelings, expressing their emotions. I do feel like this person might express to you their feelings and emotions. Um, you're going to have to make a judgment on this. This person could be telling you about like some truth about them. Some truth about them, which you're kind of going to have to like not make a judgment. But <laughs> judging by that like vomit thing, I think you're going to be making a judgment. You're gonna be making a judgment and you're gonna to have to like think about this situation. It's like you've always wanted this person and then they've got this like dirty little secret, huh? And I mean like dirty little secret. Like they might have some weird fetish or something. I don't know. But it's something that's gonna make you kind of have a moment where you're like, what? <laughs> oh God, five of swords. Knight of Cups and the Six of Swords. I feel like you could move past this, though. There's this offer coming in here. This person's going to continue making you an offer. It's like, maybe this is a past person who just keeps, like, keeps trying, keeps trying. You find out this secret about them. You kind of cut them off. You're kind of like, whoa, I need time to think about this. Um... This person could keep on coming and offering you because there's this feeling of like this missed opportunity in the past. But I feel like this time, this time you don't want to miss this opportunity. I don't know, but there is this conflict. You feel conflicted. Why does, why do they feel so conflicted? Why do you feel so conflicted about this? Um, it could be that this person, like, say this person is into open relationships and you want a commitment, right? Um, 
this person could be willing to offer you that commitment you've been wanting. Um, you could have options as well, you know. It's not, this person, I think this is like a situation, for some of you I'm hearing this person, their stitch, like their thing is that they like to be in open relationships. They like to be in open relationships, and I don't know if you're cool with that. Maybe you were at one point, but maybe you're like, you know what, I'm ready to be just us two. And it could be that that is what's coming in, and that could be what you've been waiting for. Um, this person could finally be communicating that that's what they're wanting. They want to cut all the other stuff in their, out of their life. Yeah, look, King of Pentacles, they could be coming in offering that commitment that you have been waiting for. Um, but I think you went through something here. You went through something here with this person where you found something out about them. Uh, maybe you were just like, ooh, what, what? Mm. But it looks like you have some kind of offer of commitment coming in here. Um, some kind of offer, some kind of proposal here. So I do see you coming into union with somebody, somebody that you've been waiting a long time, or somebody you've been waiting a long time for. Maybe it's a new person. Maybe this is all in your past, but something good's coming in here. You're gonna get that communication soon. So in the extended, I'll look in more into who this is coming forward, um, what messages they have for you. Let's take a look at what's happening unexpectedly for you in the first two weeks of March, as well as, um, spirits advice and what's blocking this so if you're interested in that click the link in the description box and i will see you guys there bye